the way these are made is we take a Walmart bag and we fill it about two thirds full with shredded styrofoam, like trays, pieces of uh, cups, small pieces. And the reason that we shred it down is we want to get rid of the memory so it doesn't blow out on us. We take these here, we put them inside another Walmart bag instead of another Walmart bag, and each one we tie and we turn so. Like this one here, the bag underneath it, the knot is down here. We keep reversing the knots. When we get five of them on here, there's five single purpose film plastic bags that goes here. And we stuff them in the machine. And they, as you can see, have to be stuck. They really, if you get them any bigger than that, they're, they're really awkward to put in. Okay, that's, and we'll put in five of those. Okay, this is polypropylene twine. Uh, what we normally use is hay bathing twine. And uh, we uh, just tie an old-fashioned tie knot on the end of it. We have three pieces here. Just the old simple tie knot. And what we're going to do is we want the blocks, the wire, to be loaded up. So here we put in some screws on the other side, okay, for the strength. See how that goes? Okay. Now the block is tapered. If you look at it, it's bigger at the, the top than it is at the bottom. And that fits. It's smaller at the bottom here and bigger up here. And the reason for that is when we try to remove the block, it's difficult to remove. Without the taper, it'd be impossible to remove. So we make the, the taper there just to uh, remove it. Now, what we do, we take our different strings and we put them through the, the grooves in the bottom of the machine right here. Somebody's playing the organ in the background. Okay, so there is where that goes. Okay, what happens is we keep taking this down in increments, down, and then when we get it down to where we think we want it, we pull it down, slide the two bolts in, so it's actually four bolts, we slide those bolts in. And what they do is they hold the head in place. So now, we take and remove the handle, we can remove the ram, that we just engineered is these legs. And the logic is we won't be able to have it work. It'll be good working height. So as you can see, it's, it doesn't take much work to bring it around to here. Once we're here, 
It's a simple matter of removing the block. Okay? What we have now is our compressed block. Okay? With our, with our strings in place. Now, what we have to do now is pull our strings up through there. What we have here is just a piece of wire that we've made an eye on the end of it. And what it's for is for catching the wire here. And if you bring over here, you can shoot down and see what we're looking at. Look down the throat of the... Okay? Now, I always start with the metal. Now, what we do is we bring the string to here, pull it here, and once again, it's just a very simple knot. Just grab it and hold it, put in a half hitch. We're now good to go. What we're doing now is we're going to cut all these here, all the excess string off. All right. And remember that when you cut all this excess string off, it goes into the next block or, or another block. It goes back in to be recycled. So, well, it's, uh, now, if you look at here, remember what this is? We had the wire break, the string break. It's very easy to simple to make sure you're going to have it beyond your knot. Splice it, keep on going, so it's, you don't have a major catastrophe. One of the amazing things about this is when you give it to, like the Haitian women to do, they make you look like a total clumsy fool instantly. They are so good at tying the knots and making them secure. It's, it's, it's it, it, it very humbling and gratifying. Okay, now what we got to do is release the block. The way we're going to do that is we're going to put pressure back on here, remove our bolts. Okay, one of the uh, issues always is this block is wedged in here. So it can be a little challenging to get it to pull up first. 